Coming in live. Good morning, my name's Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist, here with the team at Assistive Wear. Who's out there? Let me get my other video ready and ready to go. Welcome, turn my comments on. So today is our last Facebook Live event for 2020. It's an exciting day. I've got my flashing lights on. Hi Angie, hi Sue, nice to join for you to join us today. Um, I want to say we're going to read the nut Nutcracker. Let's wait for a few more people to join our session. And as I said, it's our last Facebook Live, so we're going to... I'll probably take this off so I don't all flash you. Hi, Caitlin, how are you doing? Now remember, during all of our Facebook Lives, you can leave a message on the comments. <laughs> and um, I, as always... Hi, Ashling. Hello, hello. As always, I have my friends Pam, Isabel and Barbara who are joining in and they'll be able to answer any of your questions if I don't. So welcome. Okay, we are going to do, do. describing words, some fun. some fun things today. And I hope that you, you have you have your AAC ready. I'm using Proliquota Go on my big iPad on a stand here. So let's have a look. Have a, have a look at our schedule for today. So more, you're welcome to Miss Amanda's reading session. And we are going to read the book. Read the book. And then today our activity is make a card. We're going to make a card for someone and write a greeting. And write a greeting. And like every single week, questions. we have time for questions at the end. So I'm going to make sure I check back with the time as we go. Hi, Gabriella. Good morning, everybody. So make sure as you're going, please help me out by answering questions that I ask you. It's not just about you asking me questions. I'm going to ask you questions, get you guys participating throughout our Facebook Live. Now, if you're just joining, hi, my name's Amanda Hartman, and we're going to get started by... Read the book. By reading the book. Okay. Now, this book is called The Nutcracker. See, the letters are written in red, so we can really see them on the page. The Nutcracker. Oh! Oh! I have something to say. I'm thinking about something. Okay, let me see if I can find it. In, in. in this story, I think that there's a girl and she gets she. to do something in. first. I'm going to do it now. She gets a... Oh, look, it's exciting. She gets a... I'm going to go things, more, holiday things. She's got a present. present. She gets Get. a present, present given to her. And in the first part of the book, she will, I need an action word, she will open, open the present. <gasps> hey, you guys, can you help, help. me now? now? Should we open the present? What do you think? Hi, Naomi. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Luna. Oh, all the way from Dublin. People coming from all over the world. Welcome, welcome. Erin from Michigan. Hello, hello. So leave me all your comments. Yes. Thank you. Caitlin wants us to open the present. Okay. I wonder what it could be. Okay. Oh, let's open it up. Just like in the book. Hi, Suzanne. All the way from Holland. Some friends from the Netherlands. Open it. Good idea, Angie. Open it, open it, open it. Oh, it's a nutcracker, just like in the book. Woohoo! Okay. Hello, everybody. I can make his mouth move. Chat words to say. Hello. Hello. Hey, that's the same as in the book. Let's look. The nutcracker. Outside it was snowing. Oh, here, put the nutcracker in the front here so you can see him. I'll put him here. Oh, not in front of the AAC. It was snowing. Oh, look, it was Christmas time. And the little girl. She. Hey, same as me. Get. She got a nutcracker. Now, this book has special buttons. And I want to turn the music Mm. On with the special buttons. I'm going to put the book here and get the nutcracker ready. 
because guess what? When we get the music, we have to action words with our body. We have to dance, dance to the music. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, hang on. It helps if I turn it on. On. <laughs> Nutcracker. Mwah. Oh, good job, Nutcracker. It's nice. I think, I think it's time. The girl now, she's going to go to sleep. Sleep. But maybe while she's sleep. sleeping, it will be time for something fun. Adventure. It'll be time for an adventure. Should we see? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, suddenly the girl, she, she, she woke up, up. and she can see. see her nutcracker is fighting the mouse king. Ah, they're having a fight. That sounds bad. Yeah. Be careful of the mouse king. Oh, I can see a magic button. Hi, if you're just joining us, we're reading the nutcracker. Let's push the magic button and see what the music sounds like when they're fighting. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. He he had a big fight with the Mouse King. But now I think it's time go. to go on that adventure Attention. with the little girl. She she wants Want. to go. go. Let's see where they go. Oh, they're going through the forest. Go. Oh, can you think where are they going? Where where will it will will they, they go. go. Oh, I wrote a whole sentence. Where, Where will, will they, they go? go? Where will they go? Where are they going? It's a bit hard to see in the picture, but up on the hill, I can see a big building that's pink. I wonder, does anybody know where they go in the Nutcracker story? They're having a good adventure. They're in a sleigh with the deer. And I can see fairies all around. And they're going up here. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know where they're going? Nobody knows where they're going. Caitlin doesn't know where they're going. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, hang on, I missed a page. Oh, they went to the big sugar plum palace. It says, welcome to the land of sweets. And here's the sugar plum fairy. And look, I can see lollipops and lollies and cupcakes. Wow, that looks like a good place to go. Well, get ready. I think that there might be more music. Should we turn the music up the hill? They did go up the hill. And Taylor said, go to the castle. You're right, Taylor. They did. They had to go to the castle. The pink castle. Very good. Okay. I think we should listen to the music. Should we turn it on? Turning it on. Where's the magic button? Here it is. This is my favourite song. I, I like, like, I like this. this song. Okay, get ready. Makes me feel like I should do my ballet. Do -do 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 -do. I don't really know ballet, but I'll pretend. Very good. <laughs> we did, we turned it on. <laughs> Are you guys doing better at ballet than me? Probably. <laughs> it made me think that all the fairies, let me say it, let me write a sentence. Mm. All the fairies were doing Dude. something with their body. They were doing 
Dance. They were doing dancing to that music. <laughs> all right. And then, after all the adventures, remember, she saw them having a fight. And then they went for an adventure through the snow and to get to the castle with the sugar plum fairy. But then, oh, now the girl is back home again. Oh, and she is sleepy in her bed. I wonder, I wonder maybe, oh, you know what I need? I need a, I'm still in my action words, I need a thinking action. Maybe she was having a dream. Maybe it was all a dream. <laughs> but maybe it was a real adventure. adventure. Let's see, have we got one more bit of music? Oh, one more song to share. Let's get our Nutcracker up ready to dance with us. Annabelle. Wow, I like. I like that song too. There were lots of good songs in my book, in my Nutcracker book. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Yay! All right. Well, just like that, we have finished. We have finished our book. Finished, says the Nutcracker. Let's check our schedule. What have we got on next? So, make a card. I think we're going to make a card now. If you're just joining, I can still see people are still coming and joining our Facebook Live. And um, look at you. <laughs> you guys have been talking about. Um, oh, there's a message from my friend Taylor. Mwah! And everybody. Oh, some people are talking in Dutch to each other. We have some Dutch people joining us today. They're practicing their Dutch in the comments too. That's okay with me. All right, I have another nutcracker. Woo! Now, somebody's got a suggestion for my card. Oh, I need a card with penguins, my friend Jordan says. We'll have to have a penguin theme Facebook Live just for you. I did not plan for any penguins. If I hadn't known you were coming, I would have planned penguins. Okay, but I've got a piece of cardboard here. Oh, do you know what I do not have? I don't think I have a pen today. Oh, wait. I have a pen. It's okay. Hey, did you know um, something that I forgot to mention? In all of our Facebook Lives, my goal has been, like, to show you how you can use Proloquo to go to model during book reading and literacy and fun activities. But my ultimate goal, and what should be all our goal for AAC users, is to build their language skills. So teach them how they can put words and sentences together to say whatever they want to say. Um, and in fact, if you want some really, really practical ideas, I've written a whole entire blog post. And um, it's a Learn AAC article. Don't be put off by how long it is. You don't need to read the whole thing in one sitting. But pick out a particular topic or area that you might be interested in and maybe read that because for me the most important thing we can do for our AAC users is build their language skills teach them lots of words and teach them all the different ways they can put them together so that they can communicate for a very wide range of reasons so they can say anything to anyone anywhere anytime which is something that we uh, should should be our goal for everyone but anyway sorry back to make a card Back to making a card. So we are going to make. make a card. Now you guys, inside my nutcracker, milk, 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 milk. we need to use, hey, it was the same word when we were opening the present. We need an action words. We need to say, open, open the tin. Open. Oh, there are some stickers inside. I think that I have that word with my things and all my art supplies. Stickers. Stickers. Hey, I might stay on this page. This has lots of good words good. for me to use while Make. I'm making. So I've got some paper. I've got some paper and I've got some stickers, stickers. and I think we might put good. them on. Mm. But you guys have to choose the stickers. So I'm going to pick out two and you choose which ones you want. So I've got a reindeer on a flamingo. 
that's curious. And I've got a Christmas dinosaur. So which sticker should we put on our card for the first? You guys have to choose. Let's see, has anybody got an idea? Come on, somebody choose for me. <laughs> Reindeer, dinosaur. Hi, we're just mate. If you're joining, there's still people. Okay, Caitlin says she wants the one with the reindeer and somebody else chose the dino. <laughs> but other people have chosen the flamingo. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh my goodness. I have to get the bit. Oh, there was a few votes for the flamingo. I have to take the, the peel off the back. There we go. Then now I'm going to put it on the card. There. Now, my card is very big. I think we need to do, do more. I think we need to do some more. So we've still got maybe the dinosaur as an option, but what else do I have in here? Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, I found I found a Santa. So what are we gonna stick on this time? Santa or the dinosaur? Hmm. What do you, you want, want to put, put on, on the card? Hmm. Let's see if anybody has a choice. Oh, the dinosaur. Santa. Caitlin chose Santa, but somebody else had also chosen the dinosaur. Does that mean we want them both to go on? Both? Angie and David have said Santa too. Okay. I will put... Mm all of them mm. on okay if you're just joining <laughs> we are making a card and i'm modeling on proloquo to go so here we go better put him on the right way let's see yes there's lots of calls for santa put put, mm. put on okay put on the dinosaur hi amy some people are just joining the facebook live like we've already read the book about the nutcracker and now we're making a card <laughs> But welcome, welcome. Everyone is welcome. Oh, Taylor, my friend Taylor, she wanted the Santa as well. Of course, Santa. Oh, look at my card. Woohoo! Santa Claus. I can't say it in Dutch. <laughs> my Dutch pronunciation is bad, you guys, y'all. All right, now I have a question. Let me clear oh, this. Put on, oh. you can put on all and put on. Whoops. Um, so my question is, do, do you, you want, want to put, put on, on more? Do you want to put on more? Do you want to put on more on the card? What do you think? I've got more stickers in here. Hi Amanda, hi Annabelle. Yes, a, a penguin. <laughs> Caitlin said no, it's good the way that it is. Angie wants yes. Okay, well maybe maybe we could stick the cute little Christmas koala on. <laughs> yes, okay, we're gonna I'm gonna vote for the Christmas koala and I am going to put, put it mm. on. Oh, what a great small stickers, yes. Good idea. Hang on. Okay. Got to take that bit off. Oof. And then I can put it Oof. on the page. Um, where to put it? Down here. Okay. I think our card is finished. Finished. We, we made... Uh, we made it. It's finished. finished. We made the card. It's finished. Okay. Now... Oh, so remember, let's just check in on our schedule because we did say that we were going to make, make a card, card, but now we have to do write some writing. Greeting. We should write a greeting and decide, oh, I have a question. I, I, I have to think, think, I have to think about who, who I can give, give the card to. Who 
can I give this card to? Hmm. Let me see. Maybe I should look in my people folder. Hmm. Mum, my dad, yeah, maybe. My brother, my sister, yeah, maybe. My poppy. Oh, I've got some friends in here too. Oh, I know who I want to give it to. Shannon. I want to give a card to my friend Shannon. She is such a good friend and I know that she like. will like the card. So I looked through all my people words and I think that I will write it to, to Shannon. Shannon. To Shannon. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different now, guys. I'm going to go into my options window and in my appearance setting, I'm going to change how my message window looks. Shannon. So let's see. I'm going to give my card to, to Shannon. Shannon. Those are the words that I have to write in my card. So in my appearance settings, I'm going to change my message window so that I can display text only. Oh, now I've got big letters. That might help me. That might help me with my writing. Okay, here we go. To Shannon. To Shannon. Okay, so I'm going to write because it's my card and I chose to write it to my friend, to Shannon. Oh, Shannon. I can see that Naomi's giving us lots of helpful ideas on how to make different Christmas cards. There's lots of different things. You're right. Okay. Oh, I could have sent a Christmas card to any one of you beautiful people out there, but I did choose my friend Shannon. Okay. And I changed my text at the top so I didn't have pictures on it anymore. See, instead of, I chose it to be text only. So now I can see the letters really good. That's helpful if I'm learning to read and spell. Okay. So, um, hmm, what's a good message to write on my card to Shannon? Hmm, can you guys help me with a greeting for the inside of my card? I wonder. Yes, I don't have my other um, alternate pencils today. I'm writing with my pen, but if you were writing, if you were doing a writing task for... Um, with one of your students and they used an alternate pencil um, you could definitely look at different ways for them to help write or compose their message they might write with letter cards or with a different keyboard keyboard oh Caitlin came up with a nice message have a nice Christmas what a great idea I think I found something here too look I've got a ho 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But I like your message too. Um, you said have. Uh, oh, let me see if I can find the words. A. a. A describing word. I'm pretty sure nice is there. Have a nice. nice. Now, Christmas is a time word for a holiday. And it is there. Christmas. Have a nice Christmas. Have a nice Christmas. That would be great to write. Oh, I can see my letters. I'm going to help write it in. Have a nice Christmas. There's lots of different messages you can write in cards. You can write whatever you like in a card. Okay, have a nice Christmas. Oh, now I have an idea. I have to sign my name on it. So let's see. People words, I need to use the word from. from, because it's from me to Shannon, from Amanda, from Amanda, from Amanda, better sign my card. I hope you guys all make some cards and think of some greetings to write to your friends and your family from Amanda. Oh, do I need a kiss hug on the end? Yes. Kiss hug, kiss hug, kiss hug. There we go. So here's our card that we... Made Make. and now I can give, give it to, to my friend Shannon. Ooh, very good. Okay, so do you know what? I'm going to click more on here and I have the time written down. The time is 7.24 a.m. Wow, that went so fast, didn't it? Our time is nearly up. And I think I, that's a word. Find idea. Oh, you want me to find the word idea? 
um, I've had a question already from that thing. So just to remind you, you guys now, questions, you can ask anything really. Um, and I do have a question for you too. So I'm going to give you that. So, um, but my friend Naomi has asked me to find the word idea. So idea is something that we think about. And I actually think that it's a noun, which means I have to go into my things folder. So this is just testing Miss Amanda here. Um, so I went things more. And then there's a button, a folder called Thinking Things. And it has things like, there it is, dream, wish, a thought, but it does have the idea. 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 So it does have the word idea in there, as well as other things. So it's a, good. It's a idea. good idea to write messages. So there we go. That was lucky. I found the word the first time without using... Um, Without using search, although search is obviously very helpful, another way that we could do things. <laughs> can always search for buttons. A button, a button, a button. Okay, so did anybody else? Um, yeah, yeah. The, the idea that an idea is a noun is the tricky bit for sure. All right, I'm going to put the lid back on my little nutcracker there for it. And I, I think we should definitely finish with some music as we go. Yes. So it looks like you've had some good help there. Are there any other questions for today? <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. I have a question for you guys. We haven't set any dates for January and we really need some positive feedback from our community. Are you guys interested in us in continuing some of these Facebook Lives in the new year? And um, we'd really like to hear if you've got any ideas or thoughts as to whether they're useful and um, whether you'd like them to continue. So let us know, send us any feedback. Um, you know, we're happy to try things in a different way or do things differently, but we've been running these half an hour Facebook Lives since back in, when was our first one? Maybe April, May, May maybe? And we've actually, um, this is our 29th Facebook Live that we've run this year. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. Okay, we've got lots of people saying um, that yes to the Facebook Lives. Thank you. I'm going to come back and read your comments later. But I think there was a question um, in there from Amy. Describe when to use the feelings folder versus describe feelings. Yeah, I guess feelings has a folder all on its own. So if you were particularly working on expressing feelings, um, you would go straight to the feelings folder. And, and use that. So I think um, you could go to that folder when you're attributing meaning. Oh, you look, you're smiling. You're telling me that you're happy. happy. So in the moment to describe how someone's feeling. Um, whereas describing words, describing words more describe the attributes of something we see or feel or touch. Um, of course, Feelings are also described because they describe how we feel. So there's a little bit of overlap. So I guess it depends on the activity and the function that you're trying to do. If you're trying to think of a describing word, oh, let's describe the card, then maybe you would say, oh, it was fun to make and it was your favorite card. Whereas versus if we're describing, oh, how does the nutcracker feel? Look at his face. He looks very happy. happy. Or maybe he looks grumpy. grumpy. I can't quite tell. So it would depend on the context. Um, I think we have to be quite explicit when we're teaching feelings. We're going to think about how we feel because expressing feelings can be a bit of a tricky thing. Okay. So we're getting lots of people to say, um, yes, please keep going with the uh, Facebook Live. So thank you very much. And only some of you are only just discovering the Facebook Lives. Okay, that's good news too. And, well, I think really, yeah, so yes to more Facebook Lives. They're very informative. Thank you very much for your feedback on that. We do appreciate it. We've had a, um, a fun year of them. And I want to say, or I know I have something to say, chat word. I just want to say... Thank you. Thank you to everybody for joining all of thank the time. You. And thank you to my colleagues, Pam, Isabel and Barbara, who obviously are helping out in the background, watching in and uh, helping answer any questions with links. But I think if we check our time for one last, we're probably out of time. The time is 7.29 The sign is 25. Yes. Now, somebody's asked about a session on feelings and emotions. So definitely let's add that to our schedule first up in January. Um... 
And yes, Pam's sending some more links in there for you. Did you know that all of our Facebook Lives, we are posting them onto our YouTube channel as well? So follow our Assisted Wear YouTube channel and you'll be able to um, look back at any of the past Facebook Lives, especially if this is one of your first ones. So I'm going to get out from my table and say goodbye. And we should finish with some nutcracker music as we sign off. Bye, everyone.